Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we will discuss how to create SIF servers. So basically the main purpose of creating SIF server is to give domain users access to the CFHS that will be created in NetApp cluster. So once we create the SIF servers, then only we can create a SIF shares and give access to the domain users. So before creating SIF servers, there are many prerequisites to perform. And in this video, specifically, we will discuss about those prerequisites. First of all, let's list out the prerequisites that we have. So these are the prerequisites or the pre-implementation steps we have to do before we create CFS server. So most of the prerequisites I have already completed in my previous videos. So the first step, setting of IP space broadcast domain and subnet that is already been done. The second is the storage virtual machine creation that is also done. The name services configurations we have done it in the previous videos. And the data leaf creation in SVM is also done. In this video we will do these three steps. Last two steps we will do in next videos. Now let's go back to to put session and see if CIFS license is still there or not. So in order to see that, execute the command license show. As you can see, only NFS license is there. There is no SIF license. So we have to add the SIF license by executing command license add then the license code. The license code is here with me. Let's copy it and then paste it. So we have successfully added uh, the license. Now again execute the command license show. Here we can see CIFS license is also added. Then the next step is to setting up the DNS. So in order to do that, again go back to the putty session and uh, execute the command vserver services name service DNS create vserver is vs1 here domains in our case it's das admin dot org and uh, then timeout is to hyphen attempt one and then name servers which is also the dns servers in my case it's 192.168.15.132 and then hit enter so no error came up so we have successfully done the dns uh, setup in order to verify that execute the command v server services name services dns show here we can see under vs1 the domain is nasadmin.org and the name server is 192.168.15.132 now the next step is setting up the time services so in order to set up the time services we will be using ntp services so in my case both dns servers and ntp servers are same hence i will use the same dns server as ntp servers in order to set up that execute the command cluster time services ntp then server create and then the server name which is 192.168.15.132 hit enter so no error came up let's verify if uh, the time services is configured by executing the command cluster time services ntp and then server show so we have successfully configured the time service with ntp protocol that's all for this video last two steps we will try to do in next video if you have any knowledge to share on this topic please comment do subscribe and again thank you for watching